let me share with you how I make the easiest mashed potatoes and we're gonna cook carrots at the same time in my pressure cooker XL. Here it is. You can play with a million different types of recipes while doing it this way. This is exciting, this is easy. Keep warm button, okay? What it's doing right now is melting butter. I started cutting up my potatoes, I've rinsed them, I'm putting my potatoes, I'm cutting up the big ones into quarters and the smaller ones I just cut in half. This guy, look it, cut in half, okay? You don't have to cut them small. It really is an awesome machine to have. And we'll do more recipes with it for sure. But right now I really want to show you the potatoes because I think you're really going to like them. And I leave the skins on. If you want to take the skins off, go ahead. But once you see this done, you're going to love it. Here, this is how many potatoes I put in. So I filled it up to the line that allows me to still put in my carrot screen. Now we're gonna add in here some garlic salt. We're gonna put in some chicken stock. Now I have to show you this, this is really good. I buy this chicken stock. It's better than bouillon and I buy it from Costco for like $6. This is a huge container. It has 76 servings in here. I highly recommend you take a look at Costco for this because it really is a game changer. I'm going to put in two scoops of this for flavor and then I put in about a half, one and a half cups of water. Creamy texture and look it, it's like one tablespoon and another one. This is gonna give your potatoes a ton of flavor. Now we gotta get the water in there, okay? Like I said, one and a half cups of water. One. There we have one stick of butter, potatoes two scoops of the chicken bouillon, right? One and a half cups water. You can add cream cheese. Okay, let's get this cooking. We're gonna get the carrots on top. Carrots. And I want to put a little bit of garlic salt on my potatoes. You know what? Why don't I show you my jazzed up version about my Philadelphia cream cheese? I would like to put in probably a good four ounces of cream cheese. This is just gonna add flavor and creaminess to the potatoes. Okay, a little bit more and done. So that's about four ounces or so of cream cheese. Now we're ready for the carrot. What I'm gonna do is cut off the stems. I'm gonna leave them fat because I know that they're gonna get nice and fork tender in the pressure cooker. Pre-washed carrots, they're from my garden. So this will be good. This looks good. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get these guys cut up. I'm just gonna take off the tops and the bottoms. And then they're gonna go right on top. So I'm gonna get this in. It just sits right on top. Okay, so this is just gonna steam our vegetables. And it's going to sit right on top. Okay. So we have in inside the pressure cooker, you have your potatoes down below. Then you have this metal steamer plate here with your carrots. Okay. So I got my carrots on top and I am going to take and put the lid on. You just want to put it on, lock it. See how I have a lock right there. Okay. Now this is good. Now my vent, I need to make sure that it is not open. So if it's open on this, this lets out pressure. If it's like that, it does not let out pressure. Now I go ahead and I have to turn this off button off, right? And so what I do is I just go ahead and I do the rice. Cook time, I do the middle one, so 18 minutes. And now I just leave it alone. And it's going to start cooking up, building pressure inside. Look at that. Okay, and I tell you these carrots and the potatoes are gonna be perfect. I'll go ahead and mash the potatoes, taste them, and if I wanna add anything more, I will. Our potatoes and carrots are done, and they ran for that 18 minutes, a little bit more than that for the time that it took to get to pressure, but it's completed. So we're gonna come over here, flip over the nozzle to release any um, steam. I let mine sit for an hour so the steam is gone. I have nothing to release. 
So you just are gonna open this up. Be careful so the water doesn't drip out and get you on the skin. Inside the pressure cooker here, you're gonna wanna pull out the carrots. Grab it out with my measuring spoon here. Set this down. And mine's been in here cooling for a little bit so it's not hot. So there's my carrots. Some delicious carrots, fork tender, perfect for eating tonight for dinner. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it up. The handheld mixer. Now look at this. These potatoes are going to be a big hit tonight. They are just our favorite way to make mashed potatoes. Look at this. Do you see how smooth they look? Just delicious. Delicious these are. So good. I cannot stress to you enough, you need to try making your mashed potatoes in your pressure cooker XL. It's delicious. Try it. You're gonna love it. We'll see you next time.